everyone. I have today another huge haul and the reason why it's so big is A, it was one of those um, pre-orders that had a set list of things that I, like a bunch of things that I've always wanted to try. And as you guys can see, it's from Sassy Girl Aroma. And the other thing is um, I actually had two brittles that um, I believe shipped with this pre-order for um, because of just certain circumstances where um, I had asked Julie if that was possible and she was super kind and said that it would be um, because it was only two brittle bars and then um, with at the time it was so warm and I didn't want to pay for the um, flat rate box tripping so when I ordered it I had just paid for the envelope so I asked her if it was possible and she said just this once it would be so super kind um, and I think my um, sassy girl aroma hauls always do really well in terms of like viewers just because look at how beautiful her bars are like um, yeah but this is in general a huge huge order um, like regardless of me having the two other brittles from the last pre-order this is a huge order okay yes she did include um yep. i think so now i'm getting confused did she put um okay so i wanted to put five um, it's just, I love her riddles. Yes, yes, okay, I'm, I was correct. So, and then, I think everyone got Cookie Monster BFF from the, um, based on the, what is it called, um, videos I was seeing, hauls that I was seeing, okay, and I also ended up picking up two of her Black of Bop blocks and a chunk muffin um, where is my freebie from this order okay i see it it's right here i got two freebies yeah and this was a big order okay and that is it okay so i counted i have a total of 12 brittles this is like the most that i've ever purchased um and I'm actually running out of wax storage, which is really bad. Um, so I need to go buy, I think I will, I will buy two more boxes. Right now I actually have four boxes and I was like, I wanna keep it to four. Um, but I think just there are some vendors that I really wanna purchase. And so I know that it's gonna exceed that limit. Like for example, guess what I just, before filming this, what I just did, I purchased from Teddy B's recent RTS. Cause I didn't pick up anything from her. Um, what it, uh, her pre-order, which I should have. And so I just picked up a lot from her RTS and I'm really excited for that. Um, and I also really, I think I will, you know, hold off on purchasing wax for a while now. I have some Sassy Girl Aroma orders coming in, but I think that'll be it. Um, but what I was gonna say is I think there's one order from Southbound that I probably will make. And then I'm just gonna hold out for Teddy Bees and for um, candles from the keeping room. And otherwise I'm, I'm done, um, yes. But also, I recently made a purchase with Rose Girls and with Scoopable Wax Hearts. So I guess it's not that convincing when I say I'm going to hold off, but I, I really will. Anyways, okay, guys, I just want to start real quick with the freebies. The first one we have is Purple Sandalwood. This is a really floral, but not um too floral. It's definitely a floral. I don't even know if I get much sandalwood. I, I feel like I'm just getting like some kind of like peony maybe some cashmere in there. I'm not quite sure, but this is a pretty scent. Um, I don't know if I would purchase it, but it's, I think, nice, you know, for a one-time scent. And this is Blue Hydrangea. Yeah, you just smell kind of like, it's kind of like that um, lilacs in a vase scent. Not like, in the sense, this is definitely a hydrangea, but it's a fresh, dewy hydrangea scent. Yep. Blue hydrangeas are actually one of my favorite flowers. Um, like, definitely, when I get married, that'll be... Ooh, okay. So, okay, we're gonna start with first five um this is the first time one of my brittles has come broken so but i don't you know i don't think blame um julie for that so she packages it really nicely and honestly if it's the first time it's broken like coming from julie this is i think pretty speaks to her quality okay so pistachio disneyland i got um blueberry disneyland last time and i really enjoyed the scent i haven't melted it yet um but i figured i would get pistachio disneyland just to smell um so the scent notes are creamy pistachio plus disneyland which is pineapple orange Strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. So I feel like, if I remember correctly, the Disneyland, it's a very, um, 
lemony pineapple scent. Yep. So I feel like you do get that pistachio and I'm not quite sure. I really liked blueberry Disneyland. I don't know how I feel about pistachio, but I figured this scent is so um, like sought after. Like a lot of people like it. Like if I don't like it, I can just end up um, selling it or, you know, exchanging it with some, um, like doing a wax swap with someone. So that was uh, pistachio Disneyland. So yeah, you, you definitely get a pistachio scent. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet, but I think the colors are great. I'm just not going to take this one out because, um, you know, it's a, but that's what it looks like. Next up, we have raspberry filled, um, raspberry jam filled donuts. I've been really enjoying raspberry scents recently, so I wanted to try this. And I know this is a Bath and Body Works candle um, dupe, but the scent notes read uh, wild raspberry jam, fluffy donut, and powdered sugar. I've heard it's kind of like a powdery donut scent, which I really hope it's like a more creamy scent, but let's see. This is pretty good. Um, I do think it's a powdery donut and I think the raspberry jam is both a little floral and a bit fruity but it yeah so I, I am getting floral notes and I'm pretty sure that's what the raspberry jam is um this is really pretty I like it so I'm glad I got this and then we have raise your glass so this is also a Bath and Body Works dupe I'm pretty sure this is champagne toast um I got this in a um sample from her and I really like the scent so I figured I would just grab it from her because I've honestly always had really great performance with Sassy Girl so let's take a smell sorry there's so much glitter um I don't know if it's it'll be uploaded anytime soon but I recently oh this is really nice um recently hauled a bathing garden haul and then that's why there's so much glitter around um and this is beautiful yeah champagne toast um I feel like it's a little different from like for example champagne toast from other vendors but and I have actually never smelled it in shop but i really like the scent it's like a oh the scent notes are an invigorating aroma that combines bubbly champagne with notes of berries and citrus tangerines that's what i i feel like it's like very berry champagne i don't think i'm getting in some citrusy but i think compared to some other um what i want to call it, like other vendors like rendition of champagne toast this one's less citrusy Next up, we have Montego Bay. This is a very popular scent of hers as well. This is a beach night scent, and it reads blackberry, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, and marshmallow. So I think it's blackberry plus um, beach nights. Oh, this is also really pretty. I really like the scent. Um, yeah, like, I think I'm going to start melting. I think the past beach night scents that I've gotten from her are probably ready, so I can't wait to start melting those. This is Montego Bay. Next up, we have Harry Potter. Um, this is tea and cakes, blackberry, blackberry butter jam, wait, tea and cakes, blackberry butter jam, butter and jam cookies, vanilla sugar waffle cone. So this is a scent that I've heard some people really like, some waxies really like, some waxies don't like. I don't really know how I feel about tea and cakes, but I just figured, you know what, I want to purchase it. And also like, look at these colors. Can you guys see this? It's so pretty. So on cold, I feel like I'm getting tea and cakes and a blackberry butter, see I feel like it's blackberry butter and jam cookies. I thought it's blackberry butter jam cookies. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting vanilla sugar or waffle cone. I feel like it's tea and cakes number one in my opinion. Um, I'm curious how I feel about it on warm, yeah. So, Harry Potter. Next up, we have Blue Waves. This is warm, brisk breeze at the beach with fresh lemon, grapefruit, and soft floral, soft floral and musk. I feel like this is a Blue Volcano dupe, and I've really enjoyed Blue Volcano from one vendor, and so I've just been trying other vendors to see what I like. I like this. Um, I still prefer one from the other vendor, and I think it's because she it's not just blue volcano it's volcano plus lime so i think i like this as well but i think i want it more lemony um but this is a really nice scent it's a very clean like you get all the scent notes in there um i really enjoy it yeah next up we have cookie monster bff this is a very um so i remember i got this from the last pre-order not the one that just shipped it was the previous one and it on youtube everyone was hauling in and saying it was really good so the scent notes are blueberry fruit loops sugar cookies and marshmallow Yep, that's what it smells like. Can't wait to warm this. And this color actually looks a lot like the um, Blueberry Disneyland um, brittle that I got. I really like this, so. That's Cookie Monster BFF. 
Sorry, I'm gonna, I just wanna make sure that my brittles don't like topple over. Next up we have Garden Strawberry. Um, I had this scent in a, um, what did she call them, bag of blocks form. And I just figured I would get, grab the brittle because I really enjoyed it. So this is a true rice strawberry straight from the garden. Um, yeah, so I remember there was like a strawberry and a dirt smell and I just really, I thought it was really nice. Yep, it's a zesty seedy strawberry and then we do get like some earthy um, notes. And I think it's a really nice scent and I figured, you know what, let's just grab a, um, grab a brittle just to, cause I think I prefer brittles to like bag of blocks even though those are also very convenient. It's just, this is much easier for storage. So, yeah, it's garden strawberry. Next up, this was also from the last pre-order. I didn't see a lot of people hauling this, but I thought I wanted to try, which was universal. The scent notes are wild berry mousse, blackberry, fruit loops, cotton candy, sweet cream, and sugar cookies. So, this is really nice. I think it's also a really nice cereal I'm I'm surprised why I mean, I guess I'll, I'll warm it and see because I'm surprised not that many people purchased this from the last pre-order or at least Waxies that uploaded YouTube videos. I don't think that many people uploaded this. Um, oh, this one also broke. Um, so just real quick, I wanted to show. So these were the two that I got from the last pre-order and then everything else was from this one. Okay, so only a few more left of the brittles. Next up, we have Fantasyland. So this is lemon rind, shortbread, Fruit Loop, orange sherbet, and vanilla bean Noel. You guys know how I feel about my um, cereal scents. I've gotten so many just in this pre-order, so. Yep, this is great. Um, I wish this could be a little bit more lemony just because I thought lemon rind it would be more, but I think you definitely get that shortbread, orange sherbet, yeah, um, and vanilla bean Noel. I feel like you get everything pretty equal. Like compared to some scents, some Fruit Loop scents, this is definitely more subdued especially the fact that they added in lemon in there. Um, next one is Tiffany's Mama Drama. Um, I really, I, this was a, so I placed two orders with the last pre-order um, and this was something that I added just because I realized how much I like her cupcake at Tiffany scent. I think it was afterwards that I received my, um, one of the cupcake at Tiffany since I forget what it's called. And I just realized, oh, I love Julie's cupcake at Tiffany. So I, I decided to add this. Um, let's see how I feel. Cause it's weird. Cause it's like so much fruity sense plus a bakery scent, but you know. This is pretty good. I feel like I'm mostly getting cantaloupe, peach and strawberry. I don't even know if I get much cupcake at Tiffany's. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm mostly getting a fruity scent, but even that mix of the fruity fruits, I really enjoy. Um, so that's Tiffany's mama's drama. Um, Tiffany's Mama Drama. I think on Warm, people have said that, you know, Julie's Bakery really comes alive, so I'm sure I'll smell more of it, but on cold, I don't think I get much of the cookie or Tiffany's smell. And lastly, I have Abel's Mint Cookies. I've been trying to pick up some Christmas scents, and so this is one of the ones I got, um, which was sugar cookies with a creamy peppermint and vanilla um, and bittersweet chocolate, so. It's definitely peppermint. So this like smells like a thin mint, um, peppermint bark kind of thing. Um, it's pretty nice. I also love these colors. Like, look at that. Isn't that really cool? So really excited for this. And then let's do, um, actually I'm going to do the one, um, chunk muffin that I got. So this is Fruity Kruger. Um, they offered this in a brittle, this last pre-order, this one that like we just happened and I was like, oh, I can't believe I purchased because I don't like, honestly, I have great performance from her chunk muffins as well. It's just, um, I think I hate like storing these because it's a little and cutting them. It's a little bit more complicated, but, um, the set notes are crunch berry, blackberry, whipped cream, and vanilla bean Noel. So this is a crunch berry cereal scent. Mm, this is nice. Um, you definitely get that blackberry and I feel like you just get a lot of berries. Um, but this is nice. And look at the colors here. Really pretty. Okay, and then last, the two bagel blocks that I got, one was Remy and then one was Scrubs. So let's start with Remy. Remy is um, pear cotton candy. So I really enjoyed pear scents and I've heard Remy is a really good scent, so I just really wanted to try it. Um, yeah, this is a, this, okay, so this is not the type of pear that I was imagining it would be. This also has kind of like a weird, almost like alcohol smell, like um, like out, rubbing alcohol smell, but I think, that's just in my head. Um, I think you, to me, on first sniff, if it wasn't smelling really hard, I got a jelly bean pear scent. Um, 
yeah but there is like a bit of like i don't know if it's because it's in this bag um i can't wait to see how it'll be on warm um but yeah i'm almost getting like a rubbing alcohol scent um it's a little strange so next up we have scrubs and this is um blackberry apple mango tango for breeze thai downy mountain fresh gain so i know this is a laundry scent um and scrubs is one of my favorite tv shows but also i actually have to wear scrubs for my work a lot of times so i just figured okay this is a very um laundry scent but you know what i think this is fun um it's not a laundry scent that i would typically gravitate towards because it's very laundry but i really want to try it because um i've heard other waxies talking about it on the facebook group and i think online um if you like just pure laundry no other fruity scents then this this would be it if you like more fruity scents i think um you would definitely you could like you know blend this with other scents and it would smell good so that's it for this order um yep see you guys next time